a friend of mine was making a party at the end of the year and I go there and he was supposed to be a student of physiotherapy. And I make a joke and I say, oh, it's, it seems to be long, seven years to be a, a, P, a PT, you know? And the guy looked to me in the eye with dark eyes. He lied me on the floor. He said, breath here. I just my first bone in the neck, you know, the, the one you call the Atlas. I heard a big noise and he leave and say, I'm a chiropractor. Wow. And he leaves. Well, hello, everybody. Dr. Ron Oberstein, president of Life Chiropractic College West, and welcome to another edition of our Life West Leadership Line. Today, our guest is coming to us all the way from Paris, France. Uh, we've got Sebastian, Dr. Sebastian Fuentes. He's a phenomenal chiropractor, but more than that, a phenomenal human being. You'll get to hear his soul, his spirit, and, and what he has to share. And welcome, Dr. Sebastian. Great to have you, man. Hello, everyone. Thank you for inviting us, Ron. It's a pleasure to be here with you. Yeah, we're excited to have you. You know, and and uh, and I, I, just to give a little bit of hint about about uh, about Dr. Sebastian, you guys will we'll, we'll probably dive into a little bit more. But he graduated in two thousand and eight from IFEC. It's a college in um, in in Paris, actually in France. And but he's originally from Spain. But he was studying in France, thinking about becoming a medical doctor. And then we'll talk about how you got into chiropractic. But he uh, practiced for five years in Paris. He met his bride uh, there. He'll, he can maybe we'll get into that story. But they ended up moving to Barcelona because he's originally from Spain, and they were there for a period of years and uh, uh, six years. And then they moved back to Paris. And uh, they're actually tomorrow is their seventh year anniversary of their new practice. Uh, so he, and he's just doing phenomenal stuff. If you ever get a chance to see him do work, uh, you know, the do technical stuff, technique, he's unbelievable. Um, then, but the other piece is he's also building chiropractic in Europe. He's doing a lot. I mean, he's got a program he puts on in Paris or in France, I should say, uh, twice a year, almost like a uh, like a D.E. Parker, whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, but it's only French speaking people because it's just for the French doctors. Uh, he does that twice a year. That's been growing immensely. He's had over 1300 people come to that. Uh, he's, uh, he helped organize the first association. They call it a union, uh, for, for vitalistic chiropractors. And, uh, he's, he's a major force within that. And he's just, um, yeah, he's just doing amazing things. And, you know, we'll get into it because I want to jump in now. You know, Sebastian, you, you, you've you really uh, stepped up, you know, in a leadership role, especially if people don't understand what it's like in Europe, you know, where there's there's kind of no laws. It's like the Wild West. People can do anything they want with a license. And yet, you know, most don't even do what we would call chiropractic, you know, and uh, here you are trying to, you know, you are, you're paving the way, you know, you're doing all these great things, you know, tell us where it started, you know, like, like, give us the roots of where it all came from. I start with, I think with most of chiropractors right now start, no idea of health, no idea of what chiropractic is, no idea about what life is, compression, pure compression. I was studying for being a medical doctor because as having parents who are come from Spain, Armenia, from my mother, I was totally like, you need to have a title. You need to be something, an engineer, an architect, you need to have something, a doctor, you need to have something with a doctor title. And uh, I was in a school, uh, in preschool, where I see all the ones who want to make engineers coming with life at the beginning of the year. At the end of the year, they were all almost dying. So I said, no, I don't want to be an engineer. So I choose being a doctor. So I go to doctor school. It was not, I don't want to talk about this. It was not very fun, a lot of knowledge, but uh, not very fun. And I was not understanding why this knowledge was not used into something different than pulling medication. And I find uh, a friend of mine was making a party at the end of the year. And I go there and he was supposed to be a student of physiotherapy. And I make a joke and I say, oh, it's, it seems to be long, seven years to be a, a, P, a PT, you know? And the guy looked to me in the eye with dark eyes. He lied me on the floor. He said, breath here. I just my first bone in the neck, you know, the, the one you call the Atlas. I heard a big noise and he leaves and say, I'm a chiropractor. Wow. And he leaves. First connection with chiropractic. We have some party, some gin and tonics. The party went well. I go to I go to bed because I was going on vacation the day after, and I start feeling something within my neck, and I was feeling at peace. 
gentle. I find after it was energy. I find after it was healing. But at the beginning, I was sort of saying, mm, it's good. And I say, maybe it's the gin tonic, maybe it's a guy. I don't know. <laughs> I come back from vacation after one month or something with my, my family in Spain uh, to get back to study. And I look to my, to my sweet case and all the medication I bring there never get out of the sweet case. Yeah. And I was suffering from exp expressing migraines, expressing headaches uh, since I was 13. And I have got a lot of medication because it was, it was the language at my home. You know, my mother, you express one symptom. She was like, she wants to get rid of the symptom. She got all the medication in stocks. Well, you know, this story, you know, like, like a good mothers. And, uh, and I say, hmm, maybe it's this guy, I don't know. And I go to school first, uh, second year of medical school. And I get there and I meet a friend. Uh, you say next year I will be a chiropractor. I say, a chiropractor, second time I heard this word. And he was the son of a PT and a osteopath. And I say, why not the joke? Why your son of a PT and osteopath is doing chiropractic? I say, oh, my father say it's better, it's different. Come home and talk to him. Basically, the guy say it's better. There is great things in osteopathy, but if you want a guy to study something, go to chiropractic. And I meet a third person who told, speak to me about chiropractic, say if I have great notes, the great marks this year, I can be in second school of chiropractic. So I say, let's get, you know, let's go to chiropractic. Love it. Sweet so you just were innately led. I mean, you know, I mean, you, you had the signs. The signs were there. People were were saying things to you, right? And they kept, you know, boom, boom, boom. And all of a sudden, you know, you... you, in, you two months, in, two, in two months, you are three times the same word. You never know, you never heard of it life. You say, well, maybe there is something. Uh, chiropractic chose me, but I was not aware of it at the beginning. So I go to the school. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. And uh, I have to force to be in school because they want to make me wait one year or anything. I come back to pay. I for I for I make the free uh, the free full pay. I pay in full, like patients. You know, the, all the the all treatment for the year, and uh, so they accept me in second years of school. And um, like you can think, I was thinking I was going to be like a mechanic, a mechanist of the spine. You know, I'm gonna. I was still aware, like I can move something in here and I will kill headaches or shut down headaches because I was not expressing anymore. But I was just thinking I would be going to be a mechanist of the spine. So that was my beginning in chiropractic. And that was obviously your education was probably around that also, you know, um, where did you, where, where'd your light bulb go off, you know, on like the vitalistic, you know, uh, viewpoint? And, uh, there is, I can say that's my, I was educated this way, but one point maybe create me thinking about health is my grandmother died about a cancer when my, I was six years old. And I remember my father getting pissed off about the medical treatment because I give him, they give her three chemo in a row and yeah. they have to wait one week. So they make some tests. And I remember my father being you know, in impression about this, but really what changed my life and give me the principle was I got a friend who come back from Cairo, Europe. He was invited by the chiropractor, come back and say, speak about the seminar. And I say, what are you talking about? The seminar was not technique, was not anything. And he looked to me and say, man, you need to know what you're doing. And he have a green book in his hand and give me the green book. He say, at least read something from this. And he was Armenian, like my mother. So I say, Mm, I will listen to him because he's a good guy. He's Armenian, not because yeah. he was good. <laughs> I said, <laughs> I will listen to him. Oh, and the book was, was Life Without Fear. Yeah. Oh, oh, fear. he gave you Life fear. Without Fear? A Life Without Fear. Yeah, that was Fred, Fred Bars. Bars. It, it was a green book, but it's not a green book. You know, it's it's no. not the B.J. Palmer and D.D. Green books, but it, yeah, what a great book, Life Without Fear, Fred Barge. So... <laughs> I think I understand only the cover and I understand there were great things in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But at the end, he opened something in me that first things I get conscious, I was in fear or in compression all my life yeah. because my father was living in a country of dictator and then Franco and my mother escaped a genocide like Armenians, like Jewish. It was with the Turkish, but it was different. So for us, life was about survival. And I think this book opened something to me like I can live without that spirit of survival, that thinking, that mind of survival, that emotion of survival. I'm not sure I understand everything, but it starts coming something. And the year after, I go to Cairo, Europe. Yeah. And you were there. You were almost one of my uh, my first speakers. So I don't tell you the story before, but yeah. you were there with your strong voice. And I was like, oh my God, what's happening in here? Everyone was in joy of being a chiropractor. 
Everyone was in love of being a chiropractor. Everyone was trying to help each other. So that awakes something in me different than in school because people were joyful, uh, full of life, invest and helping each other, solidarity between everyone. There were community. I would have no sense of the word or what's its community or tribing, but I was like, I want this. I want this in my life because this is life. Yeah. And um, and Cousino was there. Uh, lo- um, ah, lot of big, Peter Amingler, a lot of big chiropractors, but the room, what I think the speakers was great, but the room was like incredible. The energy in the room was fantastic. It was incredible. In those times, it was still in Mallorca. So it was a long time ago, yeah. not in Malaga. And that's what creates, I think, start creating the change. If I'm correct at that, at that Cairo Europe, if I'm correct, Hank was there, Cousineau, you said, Joe Dispenza, was that the one Joe was at? Um, uh, and I think uh, Joe, the one, another guy who was adjusting, Andy Forelli or something like this. Andy Forelli uh, was there, yes. Andy Forelli, upper cervical. Yeah, it was a really powerful time. Cliff Hardick was there. Um, yeah. It was, it was a really powerful, powerful program, you know, and, uh, it's so cool. I mean, you know, because because I mean, obviously, what I'm hearing from you is is you heard this, you heard the salutogenic model, and it just resonated within you, you know. And I love how you said that. You know, I I, I unfortunately, Sebastian, I don't think it's just Armenians and uh, and 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 Spaniards. I think everybody lives in contraction. You call it compression. I love that word. It makes much better sense than contraction. But you know, everybody you know lives in a in a compressed state unless they can find that way to to express themselves. Right to to see that 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 is not the food that we want to digest every day, you know, up here, right? We want to digest love and life and, you know, what we can do. It's so amazing. But yet you go and you practice, you went to a school that, that I don't think was very salutogenic, right? It was probably more uh, pathogenic, right? Um, yeah. And I know you didn't know any different. There probably wasn't, I don't think Barcelona was around back then, the college. Um, but here you are and you get out and then you're all of a sudden, you know, you know, you're, you're you're starting things up, you know, and and you're bringing more, you know, salutogenesis to the to the to the to the country, you know, and throughout Europe, you know. Um, h- how's that been? Like, you know, I want to get into the union thing and all that, but how, you know, just because listen, one of the hardest things I know is a chiropractor going to share their truth, and people look at you like you're crazy, man. You know, that's not what we do, you know. And I think when there is a seed, when you, um, I think it's the Martini was saying this, when your mind is open to something different, it can get back uh, to a new ver- a whole version. When the seed is here and when you are different, other seeds are different. So it starts with the students in my, um, in my class. Uh, they see something different and say, where have you been? What's happening? And another guy coming from another seminar was telling the story. What you your experiment there? So we become first super technician because we only have the technique and we think a uh, young guys think always it's a technique, but the seed with Cairo Europe with, uh, and when the seed is starting flourishing, you attract to you mentors, inspiration, people who told you the world. So we start growing and growing, growing the idea of what chiropractic is. And I start with yeah, at Daniel Nicole place, my father-in-law and uh, he will graduate from Palmer. So everyone was coming into Paris or stopping in Paris, come with his luggage and have dinner, stop and tell us a chiropractic story, his own chiropractic story. So I was learning to work, but getting the inspiration of different message of guy who have worked in the world world with full life, with full expression, very happy to serve because my father-in-law was a principal chiropractor. Yeah. So I was not aware what it is. And also he was living the chiropractic way of life. That's a different thing. So I was seeing in action what yeah. it is to eat, think, be, act differently in a life expression mode. And so we get, we build and we start sharing. And I go to Spain and was happy, grateful office, grateful service. But in a moment I find ungrateful because I was not making a difference. I was not serving enough at what I was thinking. It was not the number of patients. It was, I was feeling a lack of something. And this lack was a lack of tribing on helping. I find it on a seminar with Mark and all the staff. And I go back to Paris and I say to my girlfriend, Elodie, I say, we need to make a difference. What we get, what other give us, we need to give it back. We need to have a strong tribe. If we want to exist and live, and if we want what we give to our patient, exist and stay after us, we need to make a difference. So we start 
inviting people to talk at our office. Uh, so we start having one speaker, one Alex Viden come, Joey Dispenza come, uh, Carrie come, after Mark Hudson come. Everyone was coming from the States, from Europe. And I sent them a message and I said, please come to share your message. Obviously, you can share also your seminar. So it, it helped to have yeses, you know, to people attending. But what it brings is we are host 500 to 600 students uh, in the, end, the first year, and they get a message of chiropractic and they can build their own vision. They can build their own message. So they start opening and opening, getting out of the model of compression, like chiropractic just for pain, chiropractic just for back pain, maybe migraines and the rest we don't know. We need to search and ooh, I can be who I am. I can paint my own painting. I can be my Picasso. I can be uh, whatever I want to be. I can be the messy of chiropractic. I can be my Schumacher of chiropractic. I don't have to be one role model, like the back pain doctor specialists with a nice coat and uh, everything you mean to. I don't have to be a doctor. I can be myself in the room. And it starts helping people opening. Um, and this purpose of freedom, of living chiropractic from within, help us to bring the seminar with a friend, Thomas and Sabrina, who are in Lisboa now, in Lisbon, in Portugal, called us and said, we need to build this seminar. So we start Grandir en Conscience uh, to have like kind of DE uh, or career up thing, like every six months, the tribe come together and we share the principles, the chiropractic way of life, how to evolve from within and the systems to have an office with like who you are in life, you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah, but you're feeding it, you know, and I, and I think that's the beautiful thing is like, you know, you're you're offering the food. People offered you the food. You had to take the food and eat it. You know, you had to decide what you liked from the food. Right. That kind of thing. And and that's what I see you doing. And and what hit me was that when you when you said to your now your wife, yeah, when you said to your girlfriend at the time, we have to do bigger. We have to do something big. It wasn't about chiropractic in your office. It was about there's a bigger mission here and that's to get more people, you know, you know, ex exposed to this thing called, you know, chiropractic, right. And these are chiropractors and students. And uh, I think it's what people like you do. Like when you start speaking or when you start, you take the role as a president of the school, you're on a different service because you know, if you help one more people to serve more at the end, more people will get adjusted, more people will get to the chiropractic and more life will be an expansion. Also, we have a vortex system, we're strong, we're stronger. Because uh, as a chiropractor, you can adjust 100 people, 200, 300, 400, 500. So big guys, the Jesus one are just you know, 1,000 or 2,000. But in the end, your hands is a limitation of matter. So if you want to build this universal field, uh, you need to help more. And by involving more chiropractors, finding themselves, they serve more, they impact more, they will touch more people who speak more about chiropractic and they will impact after this, uh, the ripple effects, more students, more chiropractors, more people in chiropractic, it's bigger than us. And that was, uh, I think, important for me. What other givers we give back no, to chiropractic. Yeah. And uh, why do we need to be the sunny blow of someone who attract a lot of chiropractors to get chiropractic? Why do we need to to have, be enough lucky to go to Cairo the first time, you know, to discover this? Uh, let's make it in France because the French have a problem. You can hurt me about accent in English or even speaking English, you know? So um, why we were going to bring the barrier of language to create a, a subluxation between chiropractic and French chiropractors? Yeah. Yeah. You know, the interesting thing is this, it's like, and I, and, I, and I've thought about this a lot, Sebastian, because it's, I thought about it for 43 years, actually. Um, the people who are out there seeing a lot of people, right. They, they, they own it. You know, that's, they, they're doing this because they're, they're in love with what they do and they're, they, they know how to communicate it and they're, and they, and they feel people deserve it. You know, they're doing it from a service standpoint, right. Majority of them. And yet they're so busy seeing people that they don't do what you just said, get out of that bubble and get more people out there. Like you said, there's a limitation of matter in the hands, you know, they can only touch so many people, right? And be able to get out and say, hey, look, we need more chiropractors. We need more salutogenic, vitalistic chiropractors, right? I'm going to go out personally and, and recruit a hundred new people like that, whether they're existing chiropractors or whether they're new students, you know, someone who wants it. It's just interesting because the busy people 
are busy in their practices, you know, and and it, it takes a special per- and and they need to be right. They're they're doing what they were gifted to do. It's a dichotomy, you know, and the gifted people, you know, like yourself, are doing that in your practice, and then you also see the vision of taking it out right and getting to the students and getting to the French car because one person, one person who who came out of school like you, right? More about being a mechanic of the spine. One person might come to your seminar every six months. They might come one time and have their light bulb go off, just like yours went off, you know? It, it's just so interesting, that the, the dichotomy of how do we crack that egg, you know? Successful people, you know, making more people successful, you know? It's it's interesting. And you're doing it. If the more you give, the more you receive. And yep. by, uh, first, you need to lead as example, so you behave even better than before, okay. because you see, you you know, everyone is looking to the haters and the lovers. So you know, as an example, I need to be more enough congruent to my principles. I'm already very principled, but the more you know, it helps you to become a better version. And the more you give, the more you're able to receive, to download, you create space you know, from within to evolve. And the more compression, people don't understand this. The more compression you bring to people, the more when they get go and it start cracking, goes to the other, side, the other side. So after you need to bring everything to middle, but the more they compress, they take out chiropractic, they take out the principle, they take out the techniques and they try to changing the world, the language, the more you have another side of the world who is trying to balance this. And at the end, when you get out of polarity, everything starts getting bigger because people who serve as pain doctors have a role. Universe, universe knows why they are here. And those who serve as principal chiropractors, changing life, opening life, in salutogenist model, applying the different, you, uh, being humanist, being holistic, uh, being natural, uh, serving, so have a place also. If not, they will not exist. So chiropractic has this place in his entire field. And I feel better this side. Okay? I feel better this side. I serve better this side. But I'm not, forbid- I'm not telling it's forbidden to be on this side. I'm right. just... Bringing the things, you, you can live here, you can be here, solve more, you can exist there. And I, you can't say me no to me, like I can be this way. Because what they do, when people are afraid because of power, because you take the place, because of the name, some people are outside for the name, for the soul, for the astral, for the politic, for the, having the seminar, for the money, whatever, for existing, because I look to you and you put it. When they lose power, they start attacking. Yeah. and uh, start to defend themselves and they condemn who you are, your values, your principles, and they start to show after they attack the person. So the more we are, the more we serve, the less touchable we are. And the more we are, the more the principle goes away like, like this. And we start, you know, they say, open room is not good. Plans are not good. Oh, this chiropractic is only for Americans. People don't want it. Oh, people don't want family regular care. Oh, people don't want lifetime care. Oh, people don't want to be this, don't want that. At the end, it's not our own office. It works with our office. But after they say, oh, it's your office, you're different. Right. But after another office like this, That's another right. one, another one. And now we're starting getting a movement like this where people do what they want and joy is inside and we are strong. Even if we have less, we are very strong because we are powerful from the inside. We don't need help from the outside. Right. We are strong from within. So that's the difference. Yeah. And isn't that isn't that the same in history? You know, the in in the resistance, you know, what took place in, you know, in Spain with 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 Franco and 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 you know all, all the places, you know, it's always the people who come together who have the heart to move forward. The heart is what always makes it move, you know, and selfless service, right? Taking care of people from a, from a level of knowing that it's truly pure and it's right. And and like you said, what I love that you said, be your own artist, paint your own picture. You know, it's not about it has to be over here. Paint your picture. Of, if it's coming from you on the inside, it's going to be true to you, right? And and use the principles, right? Be able to have a guideline to be able to take that. I've watched you work. I don't even know what technique you do, man. But but you are an artist in what you do, dude. And uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in a month in Cairo, Europe. And uh, and I hope to get checked by you probably three times a day. I mean, what you know, just the stuff you're doing. Where did you pick up what you do? Ah, as I told you at the beginning, I want to be a, the better technician because my, my father typically said, you want to be a Cairo what? Yeah. Uh, he has seen as a osteopath once in his life. And he said, at least be good at what you do. 
So when I see Jean-Pierre Merspan, or not this, I just want, uh, technique was the expression. So yeah, I run every seminar and I, at the end, I make my own source. You know, I make my poetry in within, uh, I make my own book. Uh, it's mixed network, BGI, uh, it makes metrics. It makes TBM from Victor Frank, best from Ted Motter, uh, MLS from Arno Mionier, uh, SOT, Thompson, everything, uh, the toggle, obviously everything I've learned from different masters. I try to incorporate of my way of seeing the patient, my way of analyzing the body from the principles, from expanding life, from neurology and fighting the major subluxation and adjusting, you know, yeah. after it's just a song and a thing, you know, in, in, I know in us, everyone with specialist in one technique and very choose their own best technique and very specialist here. It's like our cuisine. No, we yeah. make like, uh, yeah. we love to mix a different menu. Uh, like, so we are kind of, I don't word the word, but a mixer in technique, but straight in philosophy, if we can use this example. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, okay, I want to do something with you. We're, we're about to end, but I told you it's going to go quick, man. Um, but I want to do something because people don't understand that I've been to Europe many times in the chiropractic realm, and they don't really get from the in the states where it's what it's like in Europe to practice. You know, like how people don't even know what a chiropractor is, right? And and, and you go to Spain, and you got one chiropractor in a town. They're busy, but people don't even know what they do, right? And there's not that awareness and yet they're creating that awareness. So I want to do a word association with you. Just hit me. I want to just say, you know, five names or maybe whatever names come up. And then I just want you just to kind of, because, you know, you were trained in Europe, you were trained in France, you were, you know, you were in Paris, you were Paris, Barcelona back. And just, if you don't know them, say pass or don't know them, right? We'll, we'll go on. But I just want to know in like 10 seconds or less, what they meant to you. Okay. So like what happened, how they changed you or what they meant to you. I'm going to start with one with the first one you already talked about Fred Barge. Ooh, impressive. The hello, my fellow chiropractors. When I heard this, all my hair is going there and I know we are going to pure chiropractic. Yeah. Fledgling chiropractors, you know, it was like that. Good. Second, second name, uh, BJ Palmer. You got my answer. Yeah, I just, see him, baby. Thinking, adjusting every day. I think it's yeah, you show the example to, to where take the principle where you can be. Printings, billboards, books, speaks, radios. If you got TV on even TikTok, it will be there sharing the message of finding the solution to get and teach innate and health to people. Yeah. I think love it's the it. example of service. Yeah, I love it. Mark Hudson. Uh strong. Strong power within, and I can use another word, knowing Marx, uh, making a difference in full Europe because he know it was the way. And I think it's an example to, to follow. Yeah. And one more name, and I know you know him. He's one of my dearest friends growing up, Walter Sanchez. Oof. Uh, a big mentor and the, a sole chiropractor. You can see his mother is not in limitation. You can see soul moving and a gentle guy from the hurt serving an example in family, in chiropractic and uh, in his tribe also. Yeah. So in chiropractic. Family. Yeah. I think you kind of sum that up as love, you know, um, yeah, it's just beautiful. Dude, I, I, I just want to let you know how inspired I am, you know, Sebastian, by, by what you're doing, by how you're making a change and, and how you're, you're being so selfless and getting the message out, you know, to people offering the food, all you could do, right? You can't force it, offering the food and setting the table and inviting so many people to come and eat and break bread and drink wine and be able to just spend time together. And, uh, and you're really changing lives more than you could ever. I know you know this, but more than you can ever imagine. Everyone we turn on. They are going to touch so many more lives. It's I, I, I'm just so inspired by the work you're doing in in uh, in in France. You know, it's and that echoes throughout Europe. So, thank you, brother. And I thank you from life, from your position, who you are as a speaker before. Every time we meet, sharing this powerful message and inspiring for years, taking the time to listen to to what we can try to do in here and making a difference and helping us because you will be coming to Paris to share to share with your wife. Yeah. So you will be there in May. So if whoever who want to travel and come to us the fifth of May will be in Paris, and uh, we will share a night all together. 
Um, he will share the food and I will take the food. I will eat the food because sometimes you need to feed. And uh, so it's great. Thank you. Thank you very much. And everyone, everyone in his own tribe, in every place of the world, if you love chiropractics, if you want to serve chiropractic, you want to bring more chiropractors, more students, you can do what we have done. Just invited someone to speak chiropractic and share your love. Yeah. And you will have help from life. You will have help from every other place in the world. It's just there. So you just have to stand up, stand up and make and start making the first difference. And after we want to love it and stay with it and we'll help you sustain you. And uh, we we'll make a change. And this is a ripple effect. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I just want I don't I don't want to get off without mentioning one thing. Probably the most most touching thing in your life. I found Lorenzo. Yeah. It's my is my uh, beauty of life. And uh, he's the one who teach me the most what chiropractic is and living the way of life. He's expressing our value. Uh, he always know chiropractic is about life. He always jump on the. He already jump on the table. He was already scanning and looking for subluxation in others. But he's behaving like uh, we love expressing life, and he's my best master on the planet. Yeah. But, but it, truly the best master man i'm so proud of you so thank you so much sebastian and um and i look forward to seeing you i'll see you in a couple of weeks maybe three weeks or whatever it is or four weeks uh to our viewers thank you thanks for coming back um you know I, there's a lot of gems in here and i think this is really more about what i took i'll just I'll share with me what i took is this is about just really stepping outside ourselves and 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 making a difference in the world and expanding that. And uh, and we could do it in so many ways, whether it's in our office, whether it's you know outside our office, whether it's uh, just sharing chiropractic with more people and really allowing them to experience not just one thing, but experience who they can be on a level that they can open themselves up out of compression and into expansion. And it's just, it, it's just amazing. So, you know, listen to this one again, um, share this with other people because uh, our tribe is growing hugely with this with uh with our webcast they're also now podcasts so you'll be able to listen to these in the car and uh, you know we drop these leadership lines every two weeks the opposite two weeks we do uh life by life west and um please uh, uh just keep 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 playing with us because the more we play together as as dr sebastian said the better this world's gonna be right the more we come together as a tribe so until we come back at you again, uh, I just for myself and Dr. Sebastian, we just want to bid you adieu and uh, keep loving those people around you, hugging those people around you, sharing what life is all about. And most of all, let them know that they are much more powerful than they were ever led to believe. And we could tell that story. So we'll see you next time. Thanks. Thanks.